First, let's take a very quick look at how to access the Flex Editor. If you've selected a template that is based on Flex, which this template is, when I mouse over any of the sections that use Flex, I can just click Edit in Flex Mode, and I'm immediately brought into the Flex Editor. When you're done in the Flex Editor, you can go up to the top right and click Done, and you're brought back to the regular editing mode. But what happens if you didn't choose a Flex template to start, or you're editing an old site that's based on the original editor? So I've spun up a site here that is based on a non-Flex template, and I want to go ahead and add a Flex section to it. Now, an important thing to note is you can use Flex sections with a regular site and mix and match the two items as much as you'd like. You are not required to make the entire site fully responsive just by using a Flex section. So to add a Flex section to an existing site, let's go to Add Section. This button appears between all of your rows. When I click that, it brings up our section options, and at the very top I have Flex Sections Beta. So you can select from any of the pre-made sections here, and when possible, I always recommend starting with a pre-made section because it's going to save you a lot of time. If you don't want to do that, at the very top we have a blank Flex section. So I'll click on that, click Save, and now I have a blank Flex section in my site which I can go ahead and customize. Now if I don't want to start with a pre-made layout, another option to add a Flex section is to right-click on an existing row, go to Add, and go to Flex Section. And that's going to immediately put a blank Flex section up above that existing row. But keep in mind, this will not present any of the pre-made sections for you. And again, when you're done, just click Done in the top right, and you're back to the regular editor. One important thing to note as well is that Flex can be controlled by a permission in the CMS user permissions window. So if you don't want your CMS users or customers to be able to edit Flex sections, just turn that off within the Without Code dashboard. That's it for a quick look at how to access the Flex Editor. Next up, let's tour through the Flex Editing interface and discuss what everything means.